We're back in the Fiddler house and today we have gluten-free Black Forest Gateau Cake. You ready? Let's go! For the sponge cake, you will need 6 egg yolks. Hundred and ninety grams of sugar in a saucepan, boil one inch of water. Now place the bowl with the egg yolk and sugar and start whisking. Whisk until it turns into a light yellow color. For the dry ingredients. 15 grams sorghum flour, 25 gram millet flour, 15 gram white flour, 15 gram sweet rice flour, 50 gram cacao powder, quarter teaspoon of cinnamon, 1 8 teaspoon baking powder. Set it aside, next step is add to a saucepan 65 gram of butter. Let it melt. Add to a small container 60 grams of sunflower oil. Now add the melted butter into the oil container. Now whip the six egg whites. Add the egg whites to the yolk and sugar mix. Gently fold it. Now add the dry ingredients. Place a parchment paper on the bottom of an 8-inch cake pan. For the gorgeous batter, take it to preheated oven 325 for 40 minutes. Now don't be afraid, flip this cake and you will see how marvelous it looks. Mmm, perfect! Now here are the ingredients for the tart crust. 60 grams of millet flour, 60 grams of white rice flour, 40 grams of brown rice flour, 20 grams of oat flour and 40 grams of dehydrated potato flour. In another bowl, add 70 grams of sugar, 80 grams of butter, and one egg. Smash all the ingredients until it forms a smooth dough. Let it rest in the fridge for 30 minutes to an hour so the butter can solidify. It's time to roll the dough. So sprinkle some millet flour and roll it. Using a 9 inch ring, Cut the dough. Set the remaining dough aside, you can make cookies with it. Now bake it for about 10 minutes. While it cools down, let's jump to the filling. 350 grams of dark cherries. Strain the juice of it. We are gonna add to the saucepan 60 milliliters of this cherry juice. 60 grams of sugar. And a package of gelatin. Now set aside and let the gelatin absorb all the juice for 3 to 5 minutes. Now heat up the gelatin mix in a very low heat until all the granules dissolve. Now add 150 milliliters of the cherry juice. Keep on mixing and keep an eye on it so it doesn't boil. Now add the hot juice into the cherries. The step is optional but you can add 2 tablespoons of Kirschwasser or brandy. Add a zest of one lemon. Give it a good mix so it's all combined. Now brush one teaspoon of honey or jam. It's gonna work like a glue for a tart crust. Brush a bit more of honey or jam. Place the sponge cake and cut into three layers. For the first layer, spread the cherry filling. Place the second sponge cake layer on top of it. It's optional, but you can drizzle on second layer with dishwasher or brandy. For the whipping cream part, 120 milliliters of water, 50 grams of sugar, and a package of gelatin. Now heat it up. Mix until it's all dissolved. 
Now add 50 milliliters of heavy whipping cream so we can bring the temperature down. Room temperature is perfect. Now whisk 700 milliliters of heavy whipping cream. Then add the sugar gelatin mix. Now it's time to spread it all over the second layer of our sponge cake. Then cover the sponge cake with the remaining whipping cream. Take it to the freezer for 10 to 20 minutes, then bring it back for a second layer of whipping cream. Look how the cake scrape makes all the edges look professional. Add a little flowers, shaved chocolate and cherries. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share. And I'll see you in the next one. Love you. Bye.